Welcome to the seventh tutorial on CSS and we're continuing on with CSS classes. Now if you didn't watch the last tutorial you should go watch that right now because that was the first tutorial we did on classes. Now we're going to go ahead and use the same exact code that we used from the last tutorial except we're going to add one little addition here. We're going to add a block quote and that is going to be right here. So below the P element tag add a block quote and I just put in here this is an indent but you can put whatever you want and so that shows up right here so that's the latest addition to our code so in the last video of course we wanted to apply different rule sets to our p element tags and we did that with classes so we had a blue class and we had a purple class and that allowed us to go ahead and individually style these p element tags rather than do it globally and you can see that right over here. Now, what if we want to add this blue class that we created right here, this rule set, to a different element? And in this case, we want to add it to this block quote. Well, we can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and just do some copy and pasting here. And it's the same exact format. We'll put it in the first tag of the element. So we'll just copy and paste that. And so again, we can use this class over and over again in all the different elements that we want to. Now, of course, up here now, we're just specifying the paragraph element tag. So we have to remove the P, and now this will generically apply this to all of the classes that we have that are tagged with blue. So let's go ahead and save this, and we'll close this out. And you can see now we've got our blue text and our 25 pixel size for our font size and our Helvetica font. And so that's kind of a good way to use classes. You can apply it to as many different elements as you want, but you just have to take off the individual element in front of it. So if you just put a dot and then the class, it will apply it to all of the blues that it finds down here. Every single blue that it finds, it will apply it to it. Every blue. Now you can apply multiple classes to an element and we do that by adding a class name right past our existing class name and so let's create a class that just underlines text so we'll just call that underline appropriately enough and now let's go ahead and create our CSS rule and we're just gonna call this dot underlines and so we're just gonna generically apply this to all the underlying classes that we find and the CSS rule to underline is text hyphen decoration and then underline. So that's the rule to underline text. And if we go ahead and save this, we'll close this out. And there you can see we've got our text now that is underlined. And now the cool thing is we can throw that underline class wherever we want. So let's apply it to our P element tag as well. So we can reuse it, reusability. That's what CSS is all about. And we saved it. Let's go ahead and reopen this. And now we've got underlying text in several different areas. Okay, that's going to do it for this CSS tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video.